Hey there, this is Heidi from Create with Heidi. Today I'm going to show you how to make a color changing and glow in the dark children's cup. I'm going to be using my tech wrap squeegee and weeding pen. I'm also going to be using glow in the dark holographic vinyl. To begin this project, I am doing a quick prep of my materials. All I am going to be using for this project is this glow in the dark vinyl and some matte transfer tape. So for now, I'm just getting this vinyl ready. I need to peel off that clear protective top sheet. And now I am ready to remove the protectant from my mat, get that vinyl on, and get cutting. Okay, here we go. The first thing I did, because I have never used this material before, I did a test cut of a little star over in the corner. I just wanted to make sure I had my cut setting where I needed it to be. And as you can see here, that star came off perfectly. So now I'm ready to actually cut out what I need for my project. All right, all the cutting is done. So now I'm going to close up my machine and weed this holographic vinyl. If you are new to the crafting world, weeding is where you remove the excess material from around what you are going to be using for your project. So that's what you can see me doing here. I removed that big piece and now I'm going to remove all of the little pieces that are in the middle to add that dimension to all of my shapes. Okay, now that my weeding is done, I am flipping my mat over, rolling my mat away from my vinyl so that I don't risk damaging my vinyl. And moving on to the cup. I bought this pack of children's cups from Mana or Mana, I'm not sure how you say it, M-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, hydration. And that is what I'm going to be using for this project. Right here, I'm just trying to figure out what color I want to use, and I am settling on the pink and purple color changing cup. Now that I have all my cut pieces, I have my transfer tape there on the left as well. I'm going to get my cup cradle out so that I can make sure it stays exactly where I want it as I am adhering the vinyl onto the cup. This is my cute niece's name. I just adore her and I adore all of my nieces and nephews, but I decided to make this cup with her name on it and it will very likely go to her. <laughs> All right, I got that all lined up and just using my squeegee to get that on there. Filling out that transfer tape perfectly. And then I'm going to put that back on the backing and save it for another project. I have a smaller piece that is going to help me with these little candy pieces. 
I decided to use candy pieces because Amelia has a little sweet tooth and I just thought that it would be a fun little way to decorate this cup with her name on it. One of the things that you will see me doing here is I will use the squeegee to rub on the front of the vinyl and then I'll flip it over and rub it on the backing. The reason why it is good to flip it over and rub from the backside is because what you're essentially doing is using the pressure of that squeegee to push the vinyl off of the backing and onto the transfer tape and you're going to get a more solid hold that way. So that is why um, you will see that happening. I just did a quick scan and I didn't like the placement of these three longer candies right here and so I'm going to be using my tweezers to remove this one here and then I'm going to use my tweezers to peel up that long one and just move it a little bit. Those tweezers made it really easy but the vinyl, like you could feel that it was adhering, but it wasn't impossible to move because it hadn't been sitting on there for a while yet. So it was really nice and easy. Okay, here is the finished product. And here it is glowing in the dark beautifully. And here is the color change portion from the cup. It's a pretty good color change. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I appreciate you being here today. Thank you.